Previously on Grounded. We're going to a barbecue. Not everyone was invited. Who's nearby? It didn't take long for things to get heated. Oh, you are close. Back off. I don't want to talk to you right now. Then there was a massacre. We've successfully cleared the room. He was determined to finish the job. But I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. But did things get too hot for our hero? No, I'm not. I need to be as safe as possible. It would appear so. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is KK, and today we are doing the charcoal bag. I really thought I was going to get it done last time. What am I doing? I need here. Yeah, I want to get this insulating larva spike that I accidentally left behind last time. I totes for goats that I can do the mushroom breaks now. I've been stocking up on my mushroom slurry so I can just start mass producing them as soon as I got an oven. Then I got an oven and that is exactly what I did not start doing. I wanna grab a stack of mint shards to take with us. And we actually wanna give these a temporary home on the bar because we want quick access to them because if you're feeling a bit too spicy, you can choke a few down for an instant cool down. To the charcoal bag. Ah, it's too big crass. Okay, so last time we had a list, and I want to finish that list. We left off at the charcoal bag, which we're heading back to now. Then I want to make those two weapons I mentioned, one being the Coltana and the other being the, uh, the Salt Morning Star. But I want to add something to it, something I've been waiting until I had the oven to do, which is tame a pet. But we'll talk about that when the time comes. Right now, let's get this spicy Coltana recipe. Ha! <laughs> Why do I keep getting caught on the grass? For once in my life, I have successfully avoided all distractions and got straight to the point. We have made it to the charcoal bag, and I want to make sure we are fully set up. Hi, everyone. Future me. For some reason, I breezed right through this instead of explaining why I'm choosing mutations I chose. So I'm going to go over all of that and all other choices. The must-have for this is fresh defense. It slows down the sizzle rate by 75%. You can get it to level 3 by eating 10 mint shards. I also picked Coup de Grasse. It gives you a 5% chance for a critical hit. You can get it to level 2 by finding the 4-leaf clover and rolling a 20 on the icosahedron in the maze on the picnic table. Next, I went with Meat Shield, which increases your max health by 50. It's just a pretty standard, all-around good mutation to use. My last two selections are focused around stamina, one being Buff Lungs, which increases your stamina by 50, and the other being Cardio Fan, which does two things, increases your stamina region by 20%, and reduces cooldown time to recover from exhaustion. These two are important because I'm going to be swinging a heavy mallet around a lot, and it's important to stay on top of enemies as they pop out as best as you can. So all of this paired with the antlion armor, which grants you the same 75% reduction per piece, and the insulating larva spike, which is an additional 50% sizzle rate reduction. Plus some mint shards in case things get too hot, uh, and that's it. This has been my TED Talk. Even though we are probably only going to be using the mint mace, Barbarian will just reduce our ability to block, and we don't want that because we're not rocking a healing build. But when we get in here, we just want to run up and pull the sword out. But when we do, a few things will happen. The main thing being it'll trigger a raid event. It functions similarly to a raid, but your goal is to protect the Coltana from being destroyed by the larva instead of, like, your base. Um, yeah, let's just run in and start it. I think it'll be easier to explain tactics as we go, and let's run back to the edge. Staying around the edge will reduce the sizzle, and it also gives us a better view of the surrounding area so we can see things like this. We all know what this trail of dirt means. And this is what you want to do. You want to try to take them out as they pop up, or at least as best you can, and then you want to back away to reduce that sizzle and get a good look around. Ouch. I didn't get quite as lucky with this one. The first one was focused on the sword, so it was an easy kill. Ouch. And we're getting a little complicated here. And that's why we want coup de grace. The critical hit saved us time and energy. Okay, so notice the two additional bars at the top of the screen. One is for mastering the secret of the Coltana, and the other is for the health of the Coltana. We may be getting into a bit of trouble here. This is why you want to take them down quickly. Nice. They will quickly stack up against you, and you are not their main focus. Ow. That was a lot of useless blocks. 
If the Coltonic gets destroyed, then you lose and you have to start all over. Let's heal up and cool off. It's very important that you be efficient. Like this guy is focused on me, but this guy over here is focused on the sword. So I want to focus on him and the other will tag along. It's also not important to gather everything. I just can't help myself, but we're actually doing really well. Ouch, you suck. But like, we haven't taken much damage. We're healing appropriately, maintaining our sizzle. The sword hasn't taken much damage either. And we're about 75% done. We haven't even needed any mint shards yet. Also, don't use bombs. They can damage the Coltana too. You may think you're fine throwing one out here to these guys, but they could jump in with it. And even if it's not sticky, they could knock it or it could just bounce up there. Nice, another three shot. Um, yes, you follow me so I can reduce the sizzle while I kill you. So when they inflict sizzle with an attack, it doesn't cool down right away. There is a cooldown for the cooldown. I want to sneak attack this guy. Ouch, but he still got me. Oh, and it's done. That's awesome. So let's heal up and we'll run in and grab it. Oh yeah, we got the uh, ground dog mutation. You get this from completing raid events. Let's actually cool off instead of standing here and getting crispy while we talk about it. All right, there's nothing to grab. We already have it unlocked. I do need bee fuzz. I have zero and I still have the bee face mask quest. Well, that sucks. I only got one fuzz from that one. I forgot about guard dog. Guarding locations against mobs of angry creatures has awakened your protective instincts. Deal increased damage to creatures involved in defense events. This is can be used when your base is being raided to do more damage to the attacking faction. We'll also use it for the mixers and other events, other defense events, defense events, and <laughs> that's fun to say. Oh, I was just inside you. The Salt Morning Star, the spicy Coltana. So that's great, that's awesome. We'll be using the Coltana soon-ish, but the Salt Morning Star I'll probably put away for now. It will have its uses later, um, and that is that quest. Well, if it isn't a wolf spider, I thank you for volunteering to test out our brand new sword. I haven't even leveled it up yet, so you may still have a chance. Ha, I lied. You stood no chance, not a chance, not a single chance zero chances. Well, that's just rude. I was so happy that I got out of there without even like slightly angering the bees, but now you want me to go back for more? I think this game wants me to get the bees to raid me, and why am I just now getting the bird bath bluff, bird bath bluff quest? I think I said that right the first time. So we have finally unlocked the pet house. I'm just trying to think of where I want to put it. I think I'll just put it here for now. I can always move it later if I want. There we are. So the reason I wanted to wait until I had the pet house to tame a pet is because you can't equip the armor on your pet unless it's deposited into a pet house. And I don't want to lose a pet too quickly. Why is there only one item out of range? There we go. Nice. I am quite cluttered with weapons right now. I am going to go ahead and drop off the Salt Morning Star. Like I said, it will get used later. I just need to make space for now. We're still gonna keep the spider fang dagger because it works underwater, and I still wanna carry the spicy coltana, you know, because it's a spicy coltana. I have pre-made some plant slurry. This is used to tame an aphid, which I'd prefer, but I will go ahead and take some mushroom slurry in case I get tired of trying to find an aphid and decide to do a weevil instead. The reason I want an aphid is because they reduce the stamina drain rate while sprinting, which means I can run longer before being exhausted. The weevils reduce thirst strain rate, which isn't bad. I just don't have any issues maintaining my thirst bar at this point in the game. They're normally all over my base when I don't want them to be there. And of course, when I do want them there, they're not. I still haven't seen any, but I do hear them. So I'm just gonna drop a couple here and back away and just keep watching to see if they approach. I got two of them. Hopefully one of them eats enough to be tamed. Oh no, there's a third one. I guess I should have just dropped all I have. Ah, ha, a new pet. It happened to be the last one to join that got it first. So now there will be an icon that shows up over its head. 
So you know not to kill it. Oh, so cute. Now you can click on it and see it has inventory space. They do follow you automatically, so we'll just take you back to base to see your new home. I hear an ant. Oh, I see an ant. Don't you go near my pet. That's what I thought. And now we just click on the pet house, and we hit Y to deposit our brand new pet. And here's where you give your pet its armor, which I need to make. You can also see all its information, including a name. What should your name be? It's Brittany, bitch. Your pet attire is located at the bottom of the armor crafting menu. We'll go with whichever has the most defense for now. I forgot all of my might fuzz is still located in the house. Be protected, little buddy. So in the information, you'll see personality. Apparently, they can get one of 101 different types of personalities. Why did the name revert back to aphid? I hope that's not a recurring theme, but it seems I got the aggressive personality. I don't know what the others can be. What? I don't feel like it's been long enough since I was last raided. Look. What? A two-person raid? What? What? Oh, you did great, little buddy. You protected the base so well. Yes, you did. You did so good. Yeah, that's right. I'm so proud of you. You must be the real reason why I only fought two. You killed the rest, didn't you? In my haste, I accidentally withdrew my pet from its house. I wish the name would actually show up here. I think that'd be super cool. Well, that is gonna be it. This one is gonna be a bit shorter. We set out to finish the list we started in the last video and we did that and some. Hopefully this one was just as entertaining to watch. But as always, thank you for watching and thank you so much for your continued support. Until next time, I'll see you.